program for Active Learning Pal Visual Arts Domain aims to engage pupils through a variety of arts activities for creative expression of ideas and feelings. The activities also challenge and extend pupils' visual and tactile abilities. In this video, we will see a Pal Visual Arts lesson at Tikwai Primary School. At Tikwai Primary, Pal is not a standalone program. It is part of our curricular program under our CCE framework. The different SE competencies developed through PAL lessons are closely aligned to our CCE framework, which aims to achieve the various school outcomes and instill school values in pupils. PAL is one of our school's key curricular programs at the lower primary level that lays a strong foundation for the development of the moral character of our pupils and nurtures their curiosity, confidence, leadership and collaborative quality as they progress up the levels. We also recognise that PEL is an important programme to keep children excited and passionate about learning. So in PEL Visual Arts, we structure our lessons around the theme of travel to inject the element of fun and excitement into the lessons. This theme was also chosen because most of our pupils have not travelled overseas before. We wanted to provide them with the opportunity to learn and experience the cultures of different parts of the world. The pupils go on a journey to six different countries. Each week, pupils role-play as travellers travelling to different countries with their luggage and passports. Today's lesson is about learning and experiencing the culture of India. The pupils will imagine that they are staying with an Indian family preparing for the Pongal festival. The pupils will work in groups to create column as part of the festive preparation. By designing group activities in a visual art lesson, such as sharing of resources and working in groups to design an artwork, we are providing opportunities for pupils to practice social-emotional competencies such as social awareness and relationship management during PEL. What do you see or what do you observe? Yeah, Shari? So flowers? You all agree with Shari? Yeah. Is there flower, patterns of flower? What else? Yes, my Sarah? I saw the spices. You see spices? You see spices or you smell spices? Smell yeah. yeah. They draw? Lines. Lines. What kind of lines? Curve lines. Straight lines. Cut this color. Can I share my idea? Okay. Uh, so the outer, the outer part can be like, uh, like curve. Curve like, like flower. Like flower. Like flower. Yeah, correct. Right. Okay, okay, we do like flowers. You all work together as a group. So how did you make sure that you did not have any disagreement at all? Two had different ideas, is it? Yeah. What was the two different ideas? Lily petals. Oh, yours was lily pads. But what was Prana's idea? Diamonds. Diamonds. So you all didn't want to just choose one design. What did you do? Uh, we do both. You did both. Very good. So you incorporated both into your design. Okay. Uh, Have yellow, you borrowed from compassion. So you took from them, then are you gonna use all? No. Why? Uh-huh. Yeah. But is it nice when you borrow something from someone and use everything? No, you must be mindful of your friends, so so right? Okay. We tried to color this as a group. So we wanted to take turns. We are going to transfer our column design onto the floor outside. There are five different boxes for you to draw your column design in. Can you all see the different boxes on the floor? Discuss with your group members and among other group members which box you are going to take. I noticed your design is small, right? But then you got a bigger box. What happened just now? This is small, we decided to use a smaller box because our design is small. But then, Yatong's group let us use the bigger box. So Yatong's group let you use the bigger box. So you just make do with the bigger box, right? But then your design is small and the box is big. So what did you do when you transfer the design onto the floor? You make the circle of the flower bigger and add more petals. Ah, you make the circle and the flower bigger and add more petals. Why did you do that? Because it will fill up the square. Fill up the square, fill up the spaces in the square. We go out here, we walk around, around and then we'll come back and have a look. How do you feel when you use the spices and the rice? It felt very rough. Yeah, it felt very rough. So the, the coloured 
rice. What rice is it? Um, ah, it's messy. Is that what you're trying to say? Using coloured rice? Yeah, it's hard to clean. It's messy. Then what about chalk? How do you all feel about using chalk? Most of you use chalk to draw your designs on the floor, right? It just feels smooth. Right? Ah, smooth. It's powdery, is it? Stains. Stains your hair, makes your hair very dusty, is it? Now, what are some similar experiences then can you tell me that both chalk and coloured rice you get? You make a very beautiful colour. You both have very beautiful what? Colour. Do you have a fun time designing your colour? Do you get to go and use your hands and get your hands dirty? Yes, I like getting my hands dirty. You like getting your hands dirty. The lesson is designed to provide pupils with opportunities to explore and express their ideas creatively when designing their columns. In the process, pupils make choices on the sizes, shapes, colors based on the given materials to create their artwork. Also, this lesson provides opportunities for pupils to actively use their senses through seeing, smelling and touching the materials. The range of materials such as rice, spices and chalk are intentionally chosen to engage pupils in sensory experiences as they explore, discover and differentiate the characteristics of the different materials they work with. Pupils are also given the opportunity to collaborate with their peers to create art pieces in groups. They need to share their ideas, learn to listen to their peers' opinions and make a collective decision on how to design their art pieces. In the process of working in groups, children learn the social-emotional competency of relationship management, such as working cooperatively with one another to complete the given task. They are also developed in the competency of social awareness when they appreciate different ideas from peers, exhibiting respectful behavior during group discussion. Providing the context of celebrating a festival for a racial group incorporates the element of appreciating diverse cultures and traditions in the lesson. The teacher also asks facilitation questions during and after the activities to guide the reflection of pupils and bring out the learning for them.